The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, the doctrine of dispensations have to be among the basic doctrines that every believer must comprehend. Because this doctrine of dispensations which could be taught, as Apostle Paul told in Ephesians 3.2, when you read, then you will come to know the knowledge what we have communicated for you. So this doctrine enables us to recognize the biblical mechanics of the Christian way of life. Dispensations clarify the truth that the humanity of Christ established the pattern for us. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the author and perfecter of our doctrine. He pioneered the protocol plan of God. He tested and proved the prototype of the divine dinosphere. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was able to fulfill his destiny because he utilized the enabling power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Through the eternal spirit, he offered himself without blemish to God, Hebrews 9.14. Our day-to-day -day life, are we really offering the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, so that we are without spot and without blemish to Lord in our day-to-day -day walk of our life, or are we constantly grieving and squelching and lying to the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, rather than living and walking into the spirit of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, what it is that we are doing? Are we still going along and looking along to the things pertaining to the to the things pertaining to the old sin nature? Dear brethren, where are we? How are we? We need to get back to those things. But the problem with us is we are left out the knife which could be sharpened enough to discern and to divide which are not necessary for us. But rather we are still concentrating upon those things, thinking to the point that they could be really worth. At the same time, dear brethren, we need to make a note in each and every walk of our life the principle of reality, that the dispensations clarify the truth, that the humanity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ established the pattern for us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the author and perfecter of our doctrine. He pioneered the protocol plan of God. He tested and proved the prototype of the divine dinosphere. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was able to fulfill his destiny because you utilize he utilized the enabling power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, through the eternal spirit. He offered himself without blemish to God. Christ preserved and succeeded because he applied divine problem-solving devices, illustrated by sharing the happiness of God. Because of the previously demonstrated happiness, he endured the cross. The assets used by Lord and Savior Jesus Christ belong to the prototype divine dinosphere, designed by Lord God the Father as per John 15.10, and energized by Lord God the Holy Spirit, John 3.34. The prototype divine dinosphere was tested and proved under the most extreme pressure when Lord and Savior Jesus Christ endured divine judgment as our substitute. Our Lord didn't die or not bleed to death. Our Lord died as a substitute of spiritual death and he gave up his spirit where many people fail to understand. And Zachariah thinks that he has a great debate to debate over those points and think that my Lord can be lowered. No matter how many such kind of a false men will rise like the Goliath, there will be in each and every generation a David to kill them back. At the same time, dear brethren, the problem with us is we don't have enough men to be trained up. We don't have enough men to be taught into the pro into the extreme reality of Bible doctrine. But rather, we have stupidified silly men who are not who are just coming to the pulpits and who want to come to the ministry just for the point of considering that they will be taken to the point of their life to be satisfied with the belly. Therefore, dear brethren, this is what it is happening in our life, and this is what it has been ending up in our life, and we are not capable of understanding the reality of the truth. Therefore, dear brethren, it is very much essential for us to note and to understand the importance of Bible doctrine as never before. Never before. And the substitution of spiritual death on the cross is what it has been made for us, and not the real death where many people will think. And if they think 
it is a substitute of spiritual death and they may think Lord Jesus Christ was been replaced by some other man no it was the same person but on our behalf he has been died on the cross second Corinthians 5 21 tells to us he who was no sin was made sin on behalf of us and they may think this has been told by Paul but really dear brethren the passages that we go through in the Old Testament times they have been told and they have been fulfilled at the time of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and this is what it is happening and this is what men are failing to inculcate the truth therefore energization of light get the Holy Spirit the prototype divine dinosphere was tested and proved under the most extreme pressure when Lord and Savior Jesus Christ endured divine judgment as our substitute just ponder over these things as we shall continue in the next tape Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord, for we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.